in the ring. Hailing from Lafayette, Louisiana, representing WCW, the Raging Cajun, Lash LaRue. And his opponent. And his opponent is the former HWA Cruiserweight Champion, accompanied by Helena Heavenly, Matt Stryker. And Stryker, of course, feeling very down that he was the first HWA Champion to drop a title to one of the WCW wrestlers is certainly wanting to get a win over Lash LaRue tonight to try to rectify things and get a shot at Jamie Nolan that title once again, Jim. Coming to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, escorted to the ring by his manager, Helena Heavenly, Matt Stryker. Well, Les, I'll tell you, Helena Heavenly definitely lights up the, where, the arena wherever she appears, but Matt Stryker is a man on a mission here, and as you said, he would love to get another shot at that HWA Cruiserweight Championship that he lost under very questionable circumstances last week on the program to Jamie Noble, Lash LaRue. A uh, veteran cruiserweight in the WCW division is going to be, uh, you know, we were talking earlier, the policeman in effect, uh, trying to keep folks off of Jamie Noble, trying to uh, make sure, oh, wait a minute, Matt Stryker, turn around, power slam, hooks the leg, no. I Beautiful tell you, this try. On fire. Beautiful try. Striker in the offense mode early as he lights. Oh. <laughs> Lash LaRue up with a chop in the corner. And again with that chop. And as you said, LaRue is the policeman for Jamie Noble in effect. And of course, he's one to shut Striker down tonight. Beautiful up and over by Striker to see if he's going to roll him up. Lash hooks the rope. Striker rolls through. Oh, oh, oh man. Hole. Oh, Lash LaRue with that drop. Toe hold striker fell face first into that bottom cable. Referee Robert Frisco checking striker, and folks, those are not ropes, those are steel airplane cables encased in garden hose that comprise the ropes of a wrestling ring. And, and I'll tell you, they will split your skin and they'll break your bones if you hit them just the right way. Lash LaRue now hooks his man up, and striker so hopeful that, that this HWA television exposure. Uh, as well as that cruiserweight title of, in the HWA, could he regain it, would propel him on to start him in the World Wrestling Federation. But LaRue could have something to say about that. There's a press, count of two and no. Stryker out on the two, and as you said, Jimmy, I think everyone without a contract, that's what they're striving for, to get the big wins and to catapult themselves into contention for a WWF developmental title or uh, contract. And of course, those with those contracts are looking for that next big step to the big dance. Oh, wait a minute, LaRue again foiled in his attempt at a lateral press. Stryker still too strong, and I'll tell you, Steve Bradley may still be chasing Mike Sanders, for all I know. <laughs> they they ixnated out the front door at a high rate of speed, and I'll tell you, Bradley does not take losing well, especially when it's a, a loss, the manner of which came at the hands of, of Mark Jendrak and Jamie Noble and Sanders with those unsavory comments. There's gonna be problems there. Wait a minute, victory roll, Matt Stryker had him down, Lash LaRue. Comes up, Stryker goes to the schoolboy. Action so fast you can barely call it. But Stryker put the pressure on LaRue. And LaRue tells the world into the backbreaker. Stryker down. False finish. Uh, two count there. Or LaRue, of course, Stryker moving on him hard. LaRue cutting him off with that tilt a world backbreaker. Now, LaRue, instead of being so uh, vain and so methodical, should be opening up on Stryker, which could cost LaRue on this thing. We want to mention to you fans that the HWA Wrestling Wednesday, September the 26th, Covington, Kentucky, the Jillian's Entertainment Complex in the warehouse at 7.30 p.m. And we return to Batavia, Ohio, Saturday, September the 29th at 7.30 at the Red Barn Flea Market. LaRue tried to get that pinfall, but Stryker close enough to the ropes to get a foot on the ropes, necessitating the break by senior official Robert Briscoe is now LaRue putting those knees right in the small of the back and Helena Heavenly, and she is, folks, take it from us who are here seeing her in person, uh, now trying to, to really get behind Matt Stryker as are the folks here in the Davis Arena. And of course, Les, we tape the HWA television program every Sunday night at the Davis Arena in Jeffersonville, Indiana, and admission is free. That's right, free for all you folks to come down and, and be part of the HWA television family. Wait a minute, what's LaRue doing? LaRue just got some out of something, the Something, yes, pulled something out, starts to kick on Stryker. Stryker coming up slow. LaRue, does it, has he got it in his hand? I can't see anything in his hand, Les, but I saw him going for something in his boot, and I'll tell you, LaRue has that reputation. Body slam by Lash as he goes to the outside. He's going topside for something here. Let's see where he's going for. He's setting up. Over the head, Whoa! but Stryker rolls out of the way. LaRue lands on nobody. Hope. 
Look at Helena's up. Helena up on the apron. That's why they call it high risk, folks. Sometimes it doesn't pay off. And now LaRue and Stryker both down. Helena trying to tell Robert Briscoe, wait a minute. LaRue had, oh no. LaRue had whatever it was. It was like a baton. A law enforcement baton. One of those telescoping jobs. He just, oh man, he's all Stryker up and he got him. He got him. That's ridiculous. A telescoping law enforcement baton. Helena was trying to call Briscoe's attention that it was laying over there in the corner. But before that, uh, before that happened, the three count was told, Stryker down, LaRue has won less. That's just another, another example of this WCW invasion. Absolutely, they can't win it fair and square. That we've seen for sure. We're gonna have to take a commercial break. We'll be back with more HWA action right after this. All right, with us, Matt Stryker. Matt, a tough loss out there. I know you want that HWA Cruiserweight belt back. You know, Les, this is two weeks in a row that I've just been basically had everything pulling out from under me. The, you know, getting hit in the gut with, with whatever that was that Lash had stuck in his boot. That, that's the last straw, Les. I want my title back. I want my chance. And I know, I know you feel really down because you're the first HWA champion to drop a belt to one of the WCW invaders. You got that right, Les. This is, the, I mean, this is just the sickening, most sickening feeling I've ever had in my life to drop what I had hold in my mind to be the most, the biggest thing I've ever had in my life taken away from me like that. Uh, we want to wish you a lot of luck, Matt. I know you're going to dig in and uh, give it all you got. Thank you, Les. All right, let's throw it to the ring for our ring introduction. 